And we're live, we're live, we're live. Hey, nice. Ooh, good. Feeling nice, feeling good, feeling right. The whole idea here is to deal with what you need to and to get rid of all the shit that you don't need to. So let's examine the concepts of luck, talent, and drive. Why would we talk about the concepts of luck, talent, and drive? Because they are extraordinarily valuable qualities to embrace, to rely on. There was a famous ballet dancer, the male ballet dancer, Rudolf Nureyev, and he was approached by a young up-and-coming dancer. I don't even know if he was up-and-coming. Just said, how can I also become successful as an artist? And he said, ah, is very simple. <laughs> There's my Russian accent. Is, is simple. Need luck talent drive and if you have any two you might be successful and the fact is he's absolutely right there's luck there's talent and there's drive or let's take a look for a second there's luck talent and drive so we have luck talent and drive now you need talent and you need drive, and maybe you need a little luck. And I'm here to tell you that Rudolf Nureyev was right. With luck, talent, and drive, you only need two of them in order to be successful. Do you see where I'm going? Isn't this fantastic? Oh, <laughs> this is exciting because, in fact, you can look into your magic ball, your magic crystal ball, and see various people in the past who have created a very successful thing without any talent. Zero. None. No talent. Talent-free zone. You might look at Ozzy Osbourne and say, the guy didn't have talent. I don't know. Maybe you're an Ozzy freak. Good for you. There are artists out there who have become successful without having any talent at all. Talent-free zone. There are artists out there. There are business people out there who have no drive and they have just gotten an enormous amount of luck. Yo, Dennis, man. There are artists out there. There are business people out there who have zero luck. And it has been solely and exclusively about talent and drive. I want to hold on to that one for a little while because, in fact, talent and drive are both achievable. Talent is not born. Talent is made. <laughs> Ozzy is your spirit guide. And I have zero problem with the fact that you like Ozzy. I'm even going to throw that up, up here. Ozzy is my spirit guide, says Dennis. Oh, Dennis, I'm calling you out. I'm not throwing you under the bus. I'm letting everybody proudly see that you proudly embrace the power of Ozzy compels you. <laughs> and... Just like that, it's gone. Oh, the magic, the magic of the interwebs. The interwebs, by the way, we all know that it's not something that just falls off a truck. It's a series of tubes. You can look it up. <laughs> oh, who, what, what fucking ridiculous senator said that? Had no clue about the internet a long time ago. But let's get back to the fact of Ozzy. Let's get back to the fact of talent and drive. Let's remove the luck. Because in fact, and I'm going to talk about this in a moment, in fact, I want you to give very strong thoughts, considerations to removing the reliance upon luck from anything that you do. Okay? If in fact this luck, luck talent drive trifecta means that you don't necessarily need talent and luck 
you oh you don't necessarily need drive you can rely on talent and luck you don't necessarily need talent you can rely on drive and luck or you don't necessarily need luck you can rely on talent and drive now my claim is that you should embrace that last one because in fact luck can be a value-added bonus don't hope and pray that luck falls in your lap in fact concentrate on the talent which comes through good methods and practice and concentrate on the drive which is mindset and then if you happen to have some luck magically fall from the sky you have the trifecta arriving at hopefully the right time and good for you that was two thumbs up i'll give you four thumbs up boom it's not all four because i ain't got none four thumbs but <laughs> you don't want to rely on luck you want to manifest luck as a value-added bonus on top of what you have honed through your drive and your talent drive is mindset talent is techniques and practice don't let anyone get in your way yeah here we have this one facebook user I'm not looking, I'm looking on StreamYard, so unless you register as user, then, you know, give it, give it a name, like Dennis over here with his ha ha ha. <laughs> and of course, don't forget, I'm going to throw you back into the mix again. Ozzy is my spirit guide because I brought Ozzy into the picture earlier. Now, you don't have to necessarily think that Ozzy is a, you know, is a clown because Ozzy knew what he was doing in many ways and ozzy made his career but there are people out there that you can point to and say i think that person has no talent and yet they're successful how did they get there well maybe they didn't have talent but they did have luck show up and other people it's just a matter of how you see talent talent is an subjective notion so you can look at someone else's talent and say you know they have talent. This person does. That person doesn't. I've had many people call me a brilliant or call me a genius, whatever it is. I give no credo, to, you know, credence to that because I don't think of myself as anything. I'm just trying. I'm just a fucking hairy American troll doing the best he can. Genius, brilliance, whatever it is, that's what other people will give, you know, will put upon you. Moniker this, moniker that. The fact is that let them come up with whatever they view you as. Your sense and your responsibility has everything to do with the fact that, yeah, you still, you know, <laughs> you, you still need to put your pants on one leg at a time. Unless you can, you know, majestically, you know, jump into some, you know, some spirit guided pants that'll rise to the occasion with both with both legs. Oh, my God, it's magic pants. Hey, look at him. He's got his magic pants on. I hope you brought your magic pants. Ooh, is that a stain on your magic pants? Ooh, I think you need to wash those magic pants. Oh, my goodness. I think I just crapped my magic pants. <laughs> oh, it's a magic crap. Holy shit. Hey, well, exactly. <laughs> and, and there's a phrase gives new meaning to the concept of holy shit. Ooh, God bless you by the Father, the Son, and the Holy Turd. The, and that's coming up soon, isn't it? Isn't it a couple weeks until whatever it is? I don't know. You know, the holy matrimony of the you know father, son, and the holy goat. Um, having just dispensed with the final candle of my Hanukkah, Chanukah, Gesundheit. You're welcome. The the idea that we have some kind of holy trifecta that allows you to take a holy shit in your magic pants might have nothing to do with luck. It might have to do with the fact that you manifested that luck by developing your talent and your drive. Yes, you like how I brought that back? Full circle. Ooh, 
the Hairy American Troll is pretty good. And you deserve to not rely on luck. Luck, talent, and drive. If the luck shows up and you haven't manifested your talent, good for you. That might explain why some people actual, you know, what is timing? I don't know what timing is. You know, he's, he's ahead of his time. Well, okay, good. But you can't rely on the fact that you're, you know, ahead of your time or in the time or behind the time. All you can do is follow your passionate, God's honest, heartfelt truth and learn to capitalize on everything you truly believe in order to bring it big and when you do that if luck shows up fantastic but don't rely on it don't don't do that to yourself drive is mindset drive is mindset talent is practice of well-presented techniques. Anyone can become good at something. Every single person that you revere, that you admire, all of your favorite guitarists, when they first started, they sucked. What got them good is practice. What kept them moving forward with their practice is mindset. If you have any two of those luck, talent, or drive, you might be successful. What I'm encouraging you to know with every atom of your being is that you don't rely on luck. The two that you can continue to ever forward, hone, perfect, improve, and accelerate are the talent one and the drive one. Anyone have any questions for me here? Seeing as how we have a few people on here, do you have any questions? Do you have any thoughts you want to share with me? You can throw them in the post. I'll do my best. I'm waiting and waiting. Actually, I'm not waiting for anything. If you post some question, I'll answer it. But in the meantime, it's a great concept. Luck, talent, and drive. If you have any two, you run the risk of being successful in what you do. All those people who say just keep showing up, yeah, that's a mindset thing, sure. But if you keep repeating the same mistakes, you will end up ingraining bad habits. Your salvation lay in your embracing, doing it your own unique way, and learning how to bring that like gangbusters. All of that scripted bullshit is going to send you right to the poorhouse. Strategy is valuable, but strategy does not supersede your own unique personality and your own compelling delivery. What I offer shaves weeks, months, and years off of your learning curve because it's taken me decades to refine a system down that teaches people how to do what I've been teaching people how to do for a long time. My prices, I don't wait for anybody. And if you're, you know, when you're ready, you jump in. Until you're not, until you're ready, you're gonna question all sorts of things. I know exactly what I do. I have testimonials out the wazoo. And no, I won't let you peek at my wazoo. <laughs> because of the holy shit and the magical pants. <laughs>
you owe it to yourself to find the people who are already doing what you want. Go hang out with them. And give them the due respect of stepping up and bringing it big. They will be delighted. You will see the results. And the people who you can affect change upon, for whom you can inflict the most benevolent damage, <laughs> will be able to devote themselves to you because you have extracted yourself from the herd of droners and become a unique mechanism. And you do that with effective delivery. I'm just riffing here, but I'm doing it intelligently, and I know why I'm saying what I'm saying. This is what I teach people to be able to do. Unapologetically get out of your own way and say exactly what you mean. So that you do not play by the same bullshit, disgusting, generic, lackluster, boring ass, sorry, put you to sleep as best as I possibly can, scripted bullshit video delivery that passes for acceptable in this online space. All of the people who are doing it big, they've actually learned from people like me. Why have I laid claim to knowing something? Because I honed it over decades, traveling around the world and perfecting my ability to bring it like gangbusters all the time and teaching people every place I went. It's, you know, it's not a secret, but it is a method. And all the little golden nuggets that anyone can offer, you you get a taste of you get a taste of it with the free stuff <clears throat> and then when you dig in and you learn like what i show you know you learn what you learn the difference so that you can see the tip of the iceberg for what it is and then you get shown the entire iceberg so that you can actually parse it into its individual components and see the whole enchilada. I'm mixing lots of metaphors. Enchiladas are spicy and hot. Icebergs are cold. Magical pants. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm all over the map. Harry American Troll is all over the map. Ooh, then where do, where's he going next time? Where's Waldo? I hope this makes sense. Does this make sense? If this makes sense to you, reach out to me. I want to answer your question. I want basically for you to get it, to, to share that you can be part of the insurrection against all of that generic crap. It's liberating for the soul. You don't have to try to sell people. That cloying, desperate, convincing bullshit. You're better than that. You deserve to present better than that. You, you can see them out there desperately, cloyingly, hoping to convince people it's embarrassing isn't it <laughs> but this when you unlock the way you can bring it it's exciting to you it makes it fun
and it brings you what you need and deserve. Focusing on the right stuff enables you to achieve all of the other things that if you focus on them, you'll miss the mark. If you focus on the money, you'll miss it. Won't it doesn't work that way. And besides, if you focus on the money, you're nothing but a whore. If you focus on the valuable core truths, you will create something where the money is inevitable. It's true. I've been doing that all my life. Every time I focused on the money, it fell short. Sometimes very far short, sometimes just a little, but it's empty crap. When you have something more profound, it always feels rewarding. And when you do it well, the money comes because you build something correctly that delivers for the right reasons and the value will end up including money there is more to the concept of value than money and the money is only part of it all the other stuff allows the money part to fall into place No lie. No bullshit. But I really, really hope that I don't click on your page and find that cloying, desperate, salesy, scripted bullshit attempt at selling people on something and convincing people. <clears throat> You're better than that. Don't manipulate. Learn to bring it big. That's the talent and the drive. The luck will come. I believe that. And this little lesson is all about putting your focus where it deserves to be so that you can make an environment that enables it if this makes sense to you i want to hear from you i want you to contact me reach out to me harry american troll is actually a gentle compassionate guy not all big and scary <laughs> so we'll speak soon right it's almost the end of 2021 how long do you plan on waiting if we've learned nothing else from this pandemic isn't it that the time to ramp your impressive unique shizzle up is now all who think the time is now, raise your hand. Come on. I want to see them up. Hands up. It's okay. Hands down. Breathe in. Breathe out. You ready? I know you're ready. <laughs> R is an R word. Yar. <laughs> yar. Breathe in, yar. Breathe out, yar. I'm on your side. Don't rely on luck. Let it join you when you've honed the talent and the drive. 
Okay, boys and girls. Be seeing ya. And in case you didn't get those eyebrows, here, coming at you again before I hop off. Ha, <laughs>